afternoon. What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today what we're going to be doing is a little aesthetic change to the M3. Um, I think this one will be pretty unique because you don't see what I'm about to do on newer BMWs. Um, so this will be pretty interesting. What we're going to be doing today is we're going to be putting some vintage BMW Motorsport roundels on the M3. So we're going to put one on the hood and on the trunk. Now I think these are pretty sick looking. Um, some people might think they look a little weird on a newer BMW, but I think they'll look pretty cool. Um, if you're looking for these, they're actually kind of hard to find, and they're pretty expensive when you do find them. I got these from a place called Squid Tuning. Um, I think they're in the UK. I don't know if you can read that logo, but yeah, we're gonna get right into how to put new roundels on your M3 or any BMW if that's something you wanna do, and we're gonna be using these as an example. Alrighty, so we are at the front of the car right now. This should be the easier logo to take off because for the rear, I'm going to have to drill holes. So we're gonna start with this one. Um, if you have one of these tools, I don't really know what they're called, but they're made of plastic. Um, they're really a lot better than using a flathead screwdriver for something like this. Um, but if you have a flathead screwdriver, make sure to have a towel or something to protect your paint when you're popping this off with a screwdriver. Um, but we're gonna be using this, and I might use this towel as a backup. Before I get started, the main reason that I'm working on these and changing them is these are really beat to hell now. Um, if you can't probably see from this angle, but the clear coat has started peeling off, so about half of this logo is just bare logo. It's, there's no clear coat on it anymore, and it looks really grimy when, it's, when the car is nice and clean. So that's why we're switching them. So, to remove the logos from a stock BMW, what you need to do, they're held on by grommets, and what you need to do is get under the logo and actually pop it off. And this isn't very hard, you just kind of have to work it around a little bit. There we go. So, as you can see, it looks pretty much the same as the other logo on the back. Um, and you can see that the other original grommets are still right here. So let's clean that up. And these grommets actually look like they're in pretty good shape, so I'm just gonna reuse them for the old logo. So what I'm gonna do is just line these up with this and it should go on perfectly. Just as a little bit of added peace of mind, I'm gonna put just a little dot of Loctite on each of these little pins. That way it holds in place even better. So now we're ready to put it on. And there we are. All right, so now we are to the rear of the car. So first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark off the place where the emblem goes with some masking tape, a couple strips towards the middle. That way the carbon fiber hopefully won't splinter when I start drilling into it. Next what I need to do is kind of center the logo up, the roundel, put it where it looks centered, which looks to be about here, and mark the where the pegs are with a sharpie. I kind of butchered that one right there, but that's okay, because we're going by this dot and this dot. Also, before I continue, it's important to know that on the E46 anyways, I'm not really sure how the other generations of BMWs are, but on the E46, the trunk emblem is actually smaller than the hood emblem. This, I believe, is 74 millimeters, and the other one up front is 82 or 83 millimeters. So that's just something to note, and also the curvature is different. So this one's a lot flatter than the one on the hood. So next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna very, very carefully drill the pilot holes with a small drill bit. Um, we're gonna do this very slow and steady, that way we don't splinter the carbon fiber. Also, check out how old this freaking drill is that I'm using. It's not even a Black & Decker or any brand I'm even familiar with. It's called a Toastmaster. Looks like it's straight out of the 50s or 60s. So, let's get right to it. Okay, so 
So now, as you can see, the holes have been drilled. They look pretty good, actually. I didn't see any real splintering of the carbon fiber. So that's what we were after. Now it's time to put some little BMW mounting grommets in for the logos. Um, you can get these anywhere. Just type in BMW roundel grommets and something should come up. Okay, there we go. We're going to put on the emblem. And this should just fit right on in here. There we go. That's actually a perfect snug fit. That's not going anywhere. Oh, okay, so mounting the logos went pretty well, went without a hitch. Um, so now just to finish it off, I've got a brand new M3 logo to put on here. This doesn't need any drilling. This is just adhesively mounted, I think. So um, I'm gonna clean this off real quick with some turtle wax and we're gonna stick this on. And that should be the finishing touch. Well guys, that's about it for this install video. Um, I think this looks way better now with actual badges on the trunk now instead of just this one really, really worn badge on the front. Doing all the little aesthetic stuff like this is my favorite part of building cars because with cars like this, it's all the little details that matter. Um, but yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. Um, if you guys enjoy car content or motorcycle content, make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. As always, enjoy the road.